Here's why hanging out with flamingos can be really bad for your health, and shout out to this comment for reminding me. Because African lesser flamingos will flock in lakes like Natron in Tanzania. And some of the water they choose to stand in is so toxic that if you tried to wade in it for two minutes, it would strip the skin off your legs completely. Because these are soda lakes, and because minerals like sodium carbonate flow into it, the lake ends up becoming overly basic and extremely salty. I hate chemistry, I had to retake it freshman year, and I should be entitled to compensation, so I'm not even finna lecture y'all. But basically, low pH means something's acidic, high pH means it's really basic. And because these lakes can have a pH of nearly 11, the water's so caustic that it burns the flesh of humans and animals that are not already adapted to it. And if it gets in your eyes, you'll be like Stevie wondering when the lights went out. Flamingos can survive in hypersalinated basic lakes because they have tough skin and scales on their legs to prevent burns. Also, apparently they can drink boiling water without flinching. Why even do all that? Well, flamingos get bodied by everything, including other birds. So to avoid getting harassed, they live in a place so inhospitable that nobody goes through the effort of following them. It's like if Ben Simmons left Philly to go play in Utah. Utah not even a bad team, but when's the last time you went to Utah for spring break? Never, and that's why they do this.